Hey guys, today's video is sponsored by AnyTrans and the AnyTrans message transfer feature. Now you can transfer message from iPhone to iPhone or even transfer messages from an Android device over to an iPhone. This includes all your attachments, your photos, your videos, anything on your messages can be transferred with the AnyTrans message transfer feature. With a few simple clicks, you can select all the messages you want to transfer over. You can save them to your computer and have them saved for later or transferred to another device. So check out AnyTrans and their message transfer feature. Links will be in the description down below. Okay guys, so we're less than two weeks away from seeing the first beta for iOS 16. In case you didn't know, WWDC will be happening on June 6, and on June 6, Apple will most likely be unveiling the first beta for Apple's next major update, which should be iOS 16. Now in this video, I wanted to give you guys my final thoughts and predictions on iPhone support for Apple's next major update. Now this one's going to be focusing on iPhone support. If you want to see an iPad support video, let me know in those comments down below. Again, we're about 10 days as of the filming of this video before we see the first beta for iOS 16 and Apple has made some changes that's changed my mind in terms of device support and I wanted to share those with you guys. Now as always, if you would like to stay up to date with the latest iOS news, and to Apple software updates, don't forget to subscribe and make sure you turn on those notifications so that you don't miss another episode. Now, there's a few things we need to keep in mind, right? There's a few things that Apple doesn't have to tell us for us to know, and that is device support for newer devices, starting with iPhone 13. Now, iPhone 13, and when I reference a particular model, that means all iPhones for that particular model. So iPhone 13, including the iPhone 13 mini, 13, 13 Pro, and 13 Pro Max, of course, will be supported by iOS 16. 100% chance that these devices will be supported. Apple doesn't have to tell me this. I know this, that will be supported. Now, we also know that Apple has recently released the iPhone SE third generation. Now, when it comes to iPhone SE, I believe the iPhone SE third and second generation will be supported by Apple's iOS 16. Now, moving on to iPhone 12. So iPhone 12 model, yes, this is definitely a 100% chance that Apple will be supporting the iPhone 12 lineup. It is a brand new device, less than two years old. So yes, iPhone 12 will be supported. Now moving over to iPhone 11. Now iPhone 11, you have nothing to worry about. You're on a 100% chance you will be supported by iOS 16, or iPhone 11, iPhone 11 Pro. It doesn't matter iPhone 11 models will be supported by Apple's next major update, iOS 16. Now moving on over to iPhone 10s and 10s Max. Now these devices, of course, will continue to get support with the latest OS. I think these devices have a 100% chance of getting iOS 16 and still have at least another two years of software support, I believe. So yeah, iPhone 10s and 10s Max will definitely see iOS 16 as well. Now moving over to iPhone 10R. If you have an iPhone 10R, you should be safe, I believe there's a 100% chance that you will get iOS 16 for your device. iPhone 10R, you are safe. I'm pretty sure you will get iOS 16. Again, 100% chance iPhone 10R will get iOS 16. Now let's move over to some of the devices that are starting to get three to four to five year old, right? So we have the iPhone 10. Now iPhone 10, yes, it's a face ID device. I believe Apple will continue to support iPhone 10 for at least another year or two. And uh, yeah, so I have 100% chance probability that you will get iOS 16 on the iPhone 10 and as well as the iPhone 8 and the iPhone 8 Plus, which pretty much have the same power inside. So yeah, these devices will definitely, iPhone 8, iPhone 8 Plus, and the iPhone 10 will 100% chance get iOS 16. So now we're getting to some of the older devices. We have the iPhone 7 models, the iPhone 6S, and the iPhone SE first generation. Now, the iPhone SE first generation, in my opinion, this is the end for the iPhone SE first generation. I believe this device will be excluded from iOS 16. There's 5% chance that this device would get iOS 16. I do not believe this one's going to be moving forward. So if you have a first generation, iPhone SE, unfortunately, you will not be getting iOS 16 in my opinion. Now moving over to the iPhone 6S and the iPhone 6S Plus. Now I give the iPhone 6S and 6S Plus a 5% probability to get iOS 16. And the reason is because these two share the same processing power. The only difference, of course, will be size and form factor. So inside, the processing power is the same. There are five to six year old devices. I do not believe Apple will be bringing iOS 16 to these devices. I give it about a 5% 
percent chance now iphone 7 is sort of in the middle and now let's move over to iphone 7 and some of the latest information that actually prompted this video because the iphone 7 is the questionable device the iphone 7 and 7 plus as i mentioned when i reference a model it means all models so iphone 7 and 7 plus they share the same processor with the ipod touch 7th generation now if you haven't heard apple has recently discontinued the ipod touch all ipods have been discontinued including the ipod touch 7th generation now i don't believe apple will be bringing fresh and new ios to a discontinued device now what does the ipod touch 7th generation have to do with the iphone 7 and 7 plus well actually the processor so the apple a10 processor is on both the iphone 7 and the ipod touch 7th generation so there's two scenarios here either apple discount or actually there's three scenarios apple discontinues support for the ipod touch 7th generation which has been discontinued alongside the iphone 7 and neither device gets ios 16 support or they both get ios 16 support but i don't see apple releasing fresh new software for a discontinued device like an ipod touch 7 it could happen but if apple does bring ios 16 to the iphone 7 but not the ipod touch 7 a a lot of customers will be disappointed so there's three scenarios either apple supports iphone 7 and ipod touch 7 or removes iphone 7 and ipod touch 7 or the third scenario they remove the ipod touch but continue to support the iphone which would be rather interesting as i mentioned because in terms of processing power they're identical the apple a10 processor is on the iphone and on the ipod that's been discontinued but i give the iphone 7 a 50 50 probability to support ios 16 so if you have an iphone 7 this year is kind of tricky for you because of the iPod Touch being discontinued and all the iPods being discontinued, but therefore the iPod Touch 7th generation. And I don't believe Apple will bring iOS 16 to a discontinued device, but I also don't believe Apple will bring iOS 16 to a device that has the same processing power as a device that's been discontinued. And those are going to be my predictions for this year, iOS 16. So if you have a newer device, of course, you have nothing to worry about. Apple will be supporting some of the latest devices with iOS was 16 including the iphone 13 obviously iphone 12 iphone 11 iphone 10 so many iphones that continue to be supported so if apple does remove the iphone se first generation the 6s 6s plus and maybe the iphone 7 i don't think it's going to hurt too many customers but i know iphone 7 owners will really want ios 16 this year so let's keep our fingers crossed let me know in those comments down below if you would like to see an ipad video in terms of software support we're about 10 days away from seeing the first beta Thank you for watching this video, guys. Have a great weekend, and I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace.